WordPress is an open source platform to build chatbots. Uh, it is hosted on the GitHub and you can see its sources here uh, and you can download them, edit them on your will. Uh, it is also has some documentation which is available on the website and you can see and how different things are done here and try them your, uh, on your computer. So to get started, you may look like uh, you may you may blah 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 check the installation part, uh, see requirements, download uh, WordPress, and start on your computer. To download it, you need to visit official website, press the download button, select operating system, and then to get it on your computer. Uh, All right, so I've downloaded WordPress. I've unpacked it into a folder, and now I'm able to start it. So to start it, I switch to the terminal, cd into the directory, and just run bp binary. It takes time for it to load first time, and then we can get to to that bot by visiting localhost 3000 port. Uh, so first time we visit it, we are not able to log in until we create our user. So to do that, I just enter some details. I create an account and I don't see any bots yet, obviously, because I didn't create any. I can create several using templates, for example, wel welcome bot, I'll call it welcome. Now once I'm here, I can switch to that bot to see what's inside of its admin panel. So once I'm an admin panel, by default I get to the flows. Flows is the way to visually edit the way how the bot behaves. Uh, it has nodes, the, there is one start node, and from it logic splits uh, into different ways. It has transitions, transitions can have some uh, conditions under which they transition to one or another node. It can also have content, uh, content is basically text that, or different content items like buttons that get displayed to the user and actions that is a code that you can run to do different to achieve different tasks. The next thing is chat emulator. Chat emulator allows us to test the flow which we are uh, able to produce in our flow editor. We can test it immediately here uh, before actual users start to using it. It's a very useful thing. Another thing is content. So content items are displayed for the user and uh, you can edit them without knowing much about programming. And the only thing you need to know here is that things that are in curly braces like this are actual variables and they get replaced uh, while, while bot uh, sends them to the user. So one of them is hello and you could see it was replaced in the... Mm, uh, in our bot emulator. Okay, so another thing is understanding. Uh, understanding contains from entities and intents. So I'm going to switch to intents. Uh, intents is uh, a way how you can say a bot that different phrases that user may type in are all uh, are all identifying the same intent. For example, hello intent may have different phrases under it. The uh, entities is a way how the bot can extract things from the sentence that a user says. For example, user may say uh, a sentence that contains his name, country, date and things like that. All right, so uh, we have two more modules here. One of them is called Q&A. Q&A is the way for the bot to just respond to questions that user sends. 
you can type in several questions and uh, there would be answer that you that bot will send to the user or it can redirect it to some specific node in our flow and the last one is analytics one quick thing i wanted to cover is regarding uh, what's better to uh, code things or to put it into nodes here like if you're a technical person and you're comfortable with code uh, in most cases you would prefer put things into actions and then execute them but if you want things to be rearranged by someone else to uh, edit flows here and there and make them to adjust them to real needs uh, and this person is non-technical then maybe you would like to put this into nodes link them between them so that that person can also uh, use reuse your code visually and uh, adjust it accordingly so wordpress works with uh, different databases uh, if you do not set it up explicitly it will work with sqlite by default which will cre create a file for the database and store everything there but you may also use postgres database uh, by setting up environment variables and uh, then uh, then then wordpress will use postgres so wordpress can use different channels the one that you saw as an emulator can be embedded into a website and is called a web channel but different channels are slack telegram messenger and maybe others they can be also developed by yourself if you need some of those